Yeah, it beeped a little while ago because it will it will automatically shut off if that gate if the door is open and it's not going. It will, after a certain amount of time, it will automatically shut off. So it's all set. As long as she's taping right now, it's all set. Okay. I'm just gonna start. It's a long time. Okay. That's a long time. of the number that could possibly be here, okay. then we're okay. No. It's of the committee. Well, there's only seven right, active so members. 
We just read the Municipal Association's website and under forms, and it says that there's no legal statute approved for it, and it said if you had um, one or two, you could assume that you can do it with the existing people. If you want to pull it up, you can. Right. The exact words. Oh, um, but that's what it just said. Oh, that's fine. Okay. I just want to clarify. The majority of the members. Of the members, existing members. Because there's no legal status right now. No problem. So we decided that we have a quorum, and therefore we can open a meeting. So I'll say we call the meeting order at 635. And we have, um, I wanted to take a second and introduce Brianna. She's our note taker, so she'll be here when she can, which is be a period where she's out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, welcome. Uh, have you got everybody? Charlie Dion. Yes. Emily Leach, nice to meet you. Yeah. Denise knows Slick Board representative. John Ordway, budget committee chair. Bob Megan, Water and Sewer. Joe Dash, budget we're good. I Thank think you. someone is just walking in. I think that's the other guy. So now we're really yeah. good. Okay, well, right. there he is. Definitely. Right. Charlie George. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, we we got that's the Charlie George. George. So. Hi, nice to meet you. That's the Charlie. Yeah, the Charlie. Oh. I'm sorry. No problem. I'm sorry to be late on you. We had a good discussion. How was everybody? Good, right? Very well. Yeah, Brianna is our mate. Nice to meet you. So that's um, as far as I'm pretty active. Uh, roll call. Um, Suzanne Hewitt is excused. Um, Paul Cass is excused, and uh, Kim St. Hilaire is excused. All, all three had uh, contact me in advance. So the uh, first order of business that we have after the roll call is the interview and appointment of new budget committee members. And so what we did, what we decided last uh, last meeting is that we would put an advertisement out and let uh, people in the community who are interested in, uh, in serving on the committee uh, put in a, a letter of interest to the panel, and, and we've received two. Uh, they're both here in the, in the audience. Um, the, uh, we asked them for a couple of questions. One was, um, you know, what can you bring to the budget committee to, to, to provide to help? Uh, and the second was, um, uh, what do you want to do? Um, so I will, I think that the, both have submitted information and it was circulated by email. So folks have seen that, maybe we'll call up the first candidate. Please, sir. Sorry. I have a question. Okay, it was posted for only one position. Now there's two. Does that make any difference? We have to accept at least the before we enter the position. Just a minor technical. We haven't done it. You didn't do it at the last minute. It happened after. It happened after. Right. We should put it out there, too. It's such a resolution. Okay, so we can do that by yourself. How do you do that? I'll make a motion that it makes that Jody Karen's designation. Second. The Second by Emily. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Um, Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Okay. Any, uh, just, uh, so I would change the candidates from one to two? Abstain, sorry, I couldn't get the word. Forget it. <laughs> 55 and, um, So, I'm sorry. Joy? It was posted for only one. Can we change that to two now since we have two candidates? So, uh, yes, we can. So. So you're, you're proposing that we um, put forward a, a motion to increase the vacancies or application to two people instead yeah, of one? Yes, since we have two people, and it was only posted for one. Right. So when it was posted, there was only one spot. So um, I don't see a problem with it. Yeah. Two new members? Yeah. yeah. Second. So, so you have the motion from Charlie to accept the two? Two new members. Second. Second from Emily. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? The ayes have it. Just one dot the ayes, that's all. Sorry? Just one dot the ayes. Yeah, I got it. I appreciate it. Um, uh, so, with that, is there any other any thoughts before we call up the first candidate? So, Ann 
Angela, would you like to pull up a chair and? Sure. Sorry, we don't have a chair already. Hold up. So, uh, Angela, why don't you just answer the two questions that you answered in your in your letter brief, briefly, if, you, if that's okay? Could you remind me what the questions were? The questions. <laughs> questions were. I have a letter which I could refer well, to, but I don't remember the questions. Well, why are you interested in being on the budget committee? So, and then the other one is, well, what can you bring? And I think your letter, from my read of it, seems, seems to bring a lot of things to the budget committee. But. Um, well, I'm certainly familiar with budgets after 40 years of working in nonprofit organizations, and the letter described what that background is. I did run a large organization for 11 years that grew from 250,000 to over a million. I don't, I, you know, on a scale of what the town is, it's kind of minuscule, but we did have the same sorts of issues um, personnel and human resources, um, facilities. I think those are the kind of two of uh, equipment and equipment needs. It's just budgeting around a lot of, oh, state contracts, fundraising. Uh, not that you do much in the way of fundraising, but that was at least an introduction to um, managing negotiations with individuals and organizations. So we state contracts were USDA and Department of Health and Human Services. Um, which I imagine is very similar pro in terms of process with other kinds of state entities. They all follow a certain set of rules. Um, and so, and, uh, so that was a big chunk of my 40 year career in nonprofits. I also spent 10 years as a teacher. And uh, I think that prepared me for dealing with all kinds of different people. And uh, it was a good experience to work in classrooms and grow my patients. Um, and most recently, I was executive, not executive director, I was uh, director of development at Star Eye Corporation. So I um, was at Plymouth State University for a while and also at the Notion Charitable Foundation, if you didn't have time to read the letter. That's sort of in summary. And in the other positions, it was always as a fundraiser although I did have a part in the budgeting process because my department was always included in those budget conversations. Um, let's see, why did I do this? Uh, I think because it's, very, it's an important position in the community and I was willing to give it a go for um, a year. I mean, this is a vacancy that there will be an election in, in March, and so I thought, well, you know, I think if the town needs this right now, I'm ready to step up and do something to help with that part of the process and be available until next March. And at that point, you'll have new candidates and people with um, perhaps more energy and experience around this particular responsibility. Uh, and so I was interested in helping, and also because um, I'm a member of the water sewer department and I think there's some synergy between those issues that come up there and what comes up before this board. So that was another element of my interest. Okay. You know, a lot of pressure around, isn't this something you'd really like to do? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and you've run before? I did, I did. I was, um, I was the next highest vote go to the last person that filled a position on the, <laughs> on the board. Does so anybody have questions for Angela? Two more. Move to. Move to accept Angela to the budget committee. Or, or nominate. We should at least listen to both and not think you have to listen to both. Yeah. And then we'll make our decision. Yeah. That's a good idea. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. I got to go there five years, so. Oh, it's really cold on this. Hello? Hi. Peter, right? Correct. Well, you sort of heard what Angela just, just the, the, the idea was just, um, what, do you, what do you, and 
and actually Bob didn't get the bios beforehand, so it helps probably to get a little background of um, what you bring to the committee, and then and then sort of why you're interested in being on it. Yeah. Well, I'm a Rollinson resident, grew up here, spent uh, 18 years left, uh, spent a good year of my career in Washington D.C. and overseas, and recycled back here about 10 years ago. So, uh, the real reason for wanting to help out is a sense of civic duty. Uh, I was asked by a few people to consider and. I opted to volunteer my time if I can be helpful or of service. Um, work in the federal government for USAID, did a lot of work with the Department of Defense, was a policy advisor for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. I know how to manage people, projects, and budgets. Um, very large, vis-a-vis -vis Rollinsford size, uh, and I understand uh, challenges politics uh, and how that goes, whether it's small or large. So, uh, if I can be a service, I'm uh, happy to help. Questions? Just, you mentioned the federal agency you mostly work for. What was it again? U.S. Agency for International Development. Okay. But the largest development agency in the I, world. I know. So I just didn't catch the acronym. We worked a lot with nonprofits. And I'm assuming third world countries for a share of that. Developing countries, failed countries, transitioning countries. I was primarily in Europe and Central Asia. Okay. Although I spent time in South America, Central America. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, great. That's, that's the interview process done. <laughs> <laughs> it's rigorous. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Position. Not that it matters, they're both only going to be one year term, but we should do it for the person they're filling the slot. I don't think that makes a difference, you're just filling the slot. Yeah, yeah I think it's it's just a... The person's no longer on there, so you can't reference their name. It's just a, it's just a slot. I know it's a slot. Yeah. yeah. Um, Doesn't matter. Yeah, I just don't see that. I don't no see problem. That, that yeah. for that, but, um, any other discussion? Well, do we have other candidates besides those two? We have two candidates. <laughs> okay. Just two candidates. I don't see that there's much discussion. I think, I think we're pretty I think we're pretty fortunate to get two high quality candidates. I don't see we should deliberate much. <laughs> it's it's the process, Charlie. <laughs> I'm not used to the process. <laughs> you know, in business, I'll get there. You know, I usually you know. Uh, so uh, in that case, open to a vote. All in favor of, uh, of bringing Angela Matthews onto the committee, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Excellent. Um, do we have a nomination for Peter? I'd like to uh, propose that we uh, nominate Peter for the second opening for the budget committee. Uh, I'll second. Second from Charlie? Um, any discussion? We've been through the discussion. <laughs> okay, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Any abstain? Excellent. Um, I, have, I have just a point of procedure. Denise, how do they get sworn in? They have to get, you have to go down to Town Hall and see Kate Nesman sometime when Town Hall is open, and she will swear you in. <laughs> I'll pay for it. Um, we have other things to discuss, but I thought since we've had so few people, um, like we need to appoint someone to the CIP, I believe. Mm -hmm. But I figured we would do that at the next meeting because there are people who might be interested in, in serving in that who aren't here today. So um, I don't have other business items um, except that our next meeting is on May 8th at 6.30. 
you have your email contacts so we can update the um, new uh, email blast? Um, or, and maybe we need to do Bob too because if he's not getting stuff, I don't know if he's on Yeah, there. just so you know, the, um, we've already scheduled for May 8th budget uh, for the water and sewer to fill by open position. So that's coming up on May 8th also. So if, if there's if there's conflicts on a um, yeah, just yeah, just so you know, yeah, not everybody can make every okay, every meeting. Like, uh, we we said it. That's what I'm going to say. Well, well back. Um, so, any other business they would have? Yeah, I do, John. What, what, especially with the two new members. I know. I think it was Caroline sent out a note about whether to do training here for the budget committee, which. I had watched the videos from last year. I thought they were very good. They were very helpful for me. So I guess maybe um, do we want to try, you know, these, these new, all of, anybody who still wants to go, you know, do we want to try to schedule that and pick a date that's good or just say watch the uh, videos out on YouTube? It's a few hours before that. And Denise, do you know, was that a proposal to actually bring somebody in if we had enough people who were interested? I thought it was. Like yeah, we did last we time. That, yeah, yeah. And, and it is a, it's a wonderful program. It's, I think it's better to have a person come in and do it. Right. Because then you can questions. ask questions yeah. and stuff like that and hear other comments. So um, what I'll do is I will touch base with um, Carolina just to find out what the cost is and, and if if it was in-house. Yeah, I think that was what the offer yeah. was. That was. That was my reader, that, yes. and that if there weren't enough people that we could go on our own to the training. But I think I, I attended it last year and thought it was really helpful. And mm -hmm. I was able to make a connection with the person giving the presentation. Mm -hmm. I had follow-up questions for her. It was very helpful to, um, to do. So I think that's that's good. But one of the things last year that was a little bit difficult is at the time was it was like right as soon as we started and, and nobody had a chance to really pick a date that was open. So mm -hmm. um, maybe once we confirm that someone can come, we can send out a, a, a poll of some sort, maybe a doodle poll or something, to make sure everybody can, when the best time is, everybody can make it. Um, was it in the evening last time? Yes. It was, yeah. So I have to work. Yeah. Yeah. And this does a, uh, it's an all-day program, they said, that they were compressing com into the two-hour. So it's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of information, pretty fast, but I think it's still worthwhile. But I think the last time we had other departments and um, yes. committee members, so there might be some more opportunities to send it out to the other committees and stuff because they're their budgeting process as well. So I'll talk to her about spreading the word throughout them as well. Yeah, yeah I mean, I would think the department heads and such, if they didn't do it last year, okay. should that's be good. I think that's we'll what just make yeah. everybody work together a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah Chief Deshaun was here and um, George was here, I think. You know, um, Mark was here for a uh, cemetery, yeah. Mark Kutcher, so, and it really, it was a wonderful program, so. Um. Thanks for that, Jim. Um, so the follow-up will just be finding out, I think, yeah. and, and um, any other new business? The only thing I, you need to make sure that the new, um, new members have the schedule of all of the meetings in your schedule that we have already put together. Yeah. It's, it, does Karen do that for you or do you do it yourself? Or? Shh, I, I believe it's posted somewhere, but um, I can I can easily send it around. I've got a copy of it. Okay, um, just so they can. Yeah, so why don't I get your emails just to make sure. I, I know I have Angela's email. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have Peter's email. Um, if I can get that. Uh, and I'll make sure Carolyn adds it. There's a group email. This is buddy committee, and it goes to everybody, so you can not have to worry about who you forgot on the list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Great. With that, uh, no more new business. So I'm going to hear a motion to adjourn. Second from Charlie. All in favor?